What's going on? How y'all doing? Well, quite a few of you who follow me know that I am a um, big Miami Heat fan. Um, you know, we didn't do too good this year. Got knocked out in the first round. So, and they got to go back to drawing board. I like Jimmy Butler. I think very few people outwork him. I think he, I'd call him a low first tier. Low first tier. Definitely high second tier player. I think he's in that really the very good Almost great, but not quite that kind of talent that leads teams to championships. Not not Dwayne Wade, not Shaquille O'Neal, not LeBron James. Not that dude. Not that dude. And when I say that, I think that he, I know Pat Riley, he's looking for a money ticket. You know, I think Kawhi Leonard, the Clippers don't do nothing, Damian Lillard, you know, sidekick with Jimmy Butler, and that would be scary. But this thing came out within the past couple of hours. Pat Riley would welcome LeBron James back, give him, you know, and all that. And I've been asked over the years, how would I feel? Because, you know, LeBron brought two chips, teamed up with D-Wade, Chris Bosh, Ray Allen, and others, and two rings out of four straight trips. And I was like, how I feel? And I said back in 2014 when LeBron took himself back to Cleveland, I said, thanks, but we're good. Don't come back. Hope he don't come back. I said, because don't need the drama. Don't need the divocity. And, you know, I still think he played his best ball with the Miami Heat, his prime peak ball. I think he was more structured, more determined, more dedicated. Because remember, when he won two chips, he won two league MVPs. When he lost two chips, he was runner-up. One year he lost to Kevin Durant, who I think is the best player going to the NBA today. And I think Steph Curry can make a case real close in there. But anyway, that's my thoughts and takes on that. Do I want him back? And what would Pat Riley? Pat Riley is looking for a moneymaker because he needs to draw behinds back to South Beach and he also needs a proven formula that would work. Now, LeBron is with Anthony Davis and I think AD is a top five talent. You know, he can play. However, on the health side, he's janky. And I'm not going to go as far as Charles Barkley calling him street clothes, but I'll say this. I do got a feeling if he was still in New Orleans, you wouldn't see him till after Halloween. It'd be a lot of trick-or-treating. And to be honest with you, me and Anthony Davis, I'll say this. His talent level is high, but he always, I don't know, something about his game was kind of tender because he cried and moaned to get out of New Orleans. He'd come to L.A. and play with LeBron, and I just kind of, I don't know. He didn't do much in New Orleans, and he had some cast. He had the Boogie Cousins, and he had Rondo, and he had Drew Holiday. And I just I just think that he cried. I have a problem with the way he went out to get to LA. I'm not taking his talent, his reign, what he's done, and he is bad for his time. But please don't come at me with that Tim Duncan 2.0 mess. I am not trying to hear that foolishness. He will never be Tim Duncan. He might be a better athlete than a lot, but him staying healthy, and his lapses and how he goes, I don't know. The only reason why this thing might have some legs is because the Lakers team looks janky as all get out. I mean, let's be realistic. When Devin Booker cooked them and ate them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner the other night, you look at that Lakers squad and you take AD, after AD and LeBron, <laughs> and LeBron ain't, ain't young enough to turn and flip it like he once did. Whereas if you look at Miami, Jimmy Butler is really always healthy, relatively young. And they got some, and you got Bam, and you got some pieces there. You got some pieces. How would I feel about it? I don't care. And I know that don't sound like what you want to hear as a Miami fan. I don't care because if he came back, they're not going to win. I can't see them beating Brooklyn if Kevin Durant and Brooklyn is healthy. I see them being a threat, and they might have enough to beat Maybe Milwaukee, maybe Philly, maybe. I don't know. But they're not beating Brooklyn. You'd have to get another piece, you know. So would I rather have LeBron James or try to get Kawhi and Dame? I go for Kawhi and Dame at this stage. I got great memories with LeBron in Miami. And I think he should have never left. He's won two rings post-Miami, but look at how many trips he had to go to do that. And look at all the stuff he had to overcome to get it. You know, his L.A. career ain't exactly that memorable. They won the chip against Miami, ironically, in the bubble. But... Those other two years in my in LA, two injuries, 
and he didn't get past the first round. One year, they were a lottery team, and this past year, knocked out in the first round. Not exactly... And when they try, and when some of these turkeys tried to compare LeBron and AD to Shaq and Kobe, I'm like, hey, y'all need to think again. Talent wise, if you were mono mono prime, that's one thing. But health wise, no, and it's not good. And Frank Vogel ain't Eric Spoelstra. Eric Spoelstra is a better head coach. Spo is a better coach. But there's a reason why Frank Vogel got his behind ran out of Indiana and Orlando. But ain't nobody trying to hear me though. So I know what Pat Riley's trying to do. And I'm good either way. I mean, if he came back, I mean, would I get excited? Mm, he's 36, almost 37. A lot of wear and tear. And I don't know what all the pieces they would put. So it really don't really phase me at this stage. I was more excited when D-Wade came back. D-Wade coming back to Miami is the reason why Jimmy Butler. But you still need to go out and get something. You got to prepare for the future. So, you know. But I know what Pat Riley's trying to do. He's trying to win seats and fans, and hope he got one last run. Because Pat Riley wants to get up out of there, but he ain't getting up out of there unless they are a contender. And they did come, did good, did out of body last year. I said out of body because I don't know how good they really were. But anyway, that's my thoughts and takes. They've buried the hatchet, I guess, apparently. But I don't know if that would sway LeBron to leave La La Land. You know, he did shoot his own weak version of Space Jam. I'm not expecting much with the film. And I think, you know, we'll see how that all plays out. But we'll see. But give me your thoughts and takes. Pat Riley trying to woo LeBron James back to Miami. Are you with it or not? Welcome thoughts and comments. Please hit the like, subscribe, or welcome thoughts and comments. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And never say never. But then again, LeBron does owe the Heat a chip after what he did in 2011 against Dallas. And if he can go walk back to Cleveland under Daniel Gilbert, well, Daniel Gilbert was a far more heinous than anything Pat Riley said or did. That's just the fact. And Gilbert was horrible in Cleveland to LeBron, and he went back. So I don't know. Do I think LeBron's going to retire with the Lakers? I don't know. I don't care. I think his time is almost, I give him a couple more years. So I'm, you know, I'm like whatever with it, one way or the other. Had great memories, though, and always down with the heat. But they do have to upgrade get that money player in there, and they have to get focused, and they have to get back to heat culture ball because there's a certain style of Miami. I'm out.